So mosquitoes are the largest killer of human beings on the planet, far more than crocodiles and hippopotami and everything. Millions of people are infected and die from these diseases, not just dengue and malaria. A lot of uh, vector-borne and mosquito-borne diseases. The primary uh, interventions present around the world, the two main ones are bed nets and indoor residual spraying. Now both these interventions work inside the house. A mosquito that bites inside the house can be affected by these interventions. However, what happens if your mosquito happens to bite outside or early in the evening before a person goes to bed? Now you have this transmission going on that's outside the scope of these interventions and that's where we come in. So our program is actually looking at the effect of spatial repellents both on indoor transmission and outdoor transmission. We want to see how much spatial repellents will reduce transmission both indoors and outdoors and how far outdoors. We're looking at community effect. So if all the houses in a community have spatial repellents, does transmission go down much more than expected? What we do know is that spatial repellent ingredients actually prevent mosquitoes from making contact or biting with humans because they're interrupting their sensory perception. So spatial repellents uh, function by actually reducing human mosquito contact. The mosquito actually at a certain point of time when it's exposed to the repellent decides not to go go seek. So when we received the news from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation it was very exciting that they were giving us the opportunity to do this work and providing us the resources up to 23 million dollars to conduct this work. So our program is going to work in five countries and work with two diseases and the reason why we're working across the globe is we're looking at multiple transmission systems, multiple diseases, multiple mosquito species, multiple different mosquito behaviors and so our prog program is trying to actually tackle these two diseases from a global perspective. We're generating the data, the evidence that's required by the World Health Organization and other global health authorities to make a final decision as to whether or not spatial repellent products can be included and should be included in global health vector control programs. I grew up in India. Uh, my younger brother Francis almost died from malaria. And if my work actually makes a difference in people's lives, I think it would be worth it.